Pangong So is one of the popular must stops for those who visit Ladakh and it is one of those attractions in India that is probably in every traveler's travel wish list. The movie Three Idiots featured this place making most people wonder if this actually exists in India. In fact, Pangong So has now become one of the favorite tourist location in the country and it has somehow become a norm to visit this place if you are on a trip to Ladakh. We are at the Pangong Lake which is in Leh Lath, Ladakh and uh, this uh, is a beautiful view over here with the surrounded by mountains and uh, you can see the clarity of the water is crystal clear this is by the way the sea water it is salty it's, it, it is natural and uh, apparently this Pangong Lake stretches for about 143 kilometers and right across you two see is where it just goes and then two-thirds of this particular China. lake ends over up in there. China China is right across you see that peak over there beyond that is China so beautifully done you see the natural colors of this particular lake right near me is light blue and a little bit inside is a bit more darker and then this green and then this slightly purge and then again more blue wow I'm taking off myself. <laughs> Bad boy. <laughs> so, uh, that's... Uh, Celeste. You, you, you will introduce yourself. <laughs> Celeste. Swami here. Hi. Shyam here. Aron. And that's me, Vijay. We are here at the Pangong Lake. Everything seems to be so good and wonderful. Lovely. Lovely. For us, after 11 years. So you can see here, there are camps allotted in this area. And uh, one can hire these camps, uh, the, your, the tents. So different companies are given uh, some allotment of their tents. We uh, we stayed in one 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 and one one and, and two to two with our friends. And here now you can see the different shades of the mountain, the colors of the sea, which is ranging from light blue to dark blue and sometimes green. Where you can see the dark clouds is the side of the China. After the mountains is is China. What a beautiful this place is. It's six o'clock in the morning and uh, there was a very ample amount of breeze last night but now it is still it is silent and uh, in another 15 minutes we will witness the sunrise <clears throat> but the view now prior to the, to the sunrise is just magnanimous oh there you see the first glimpse of the sun on the tip of the mountain <clears throat> That's the China side, right across this, with the dark clouds. <coughs> Do excuse my <coughs> morning uh, <laughs> clearing of the throat. It's quite natural. We were not able to see any galaxy here, which is a beautiful sight by itself in this camp because of the dark clouds. Uh, because of the clouds. Had it not been, <clears throat> then we would have seen the galaxies. But never mind. So you can see here, there are camps 
allotted in this area and uh, one can hire these camps uh, the, your, the tents so different companies are given uh, some allotment of their tents we uh, we stayed in 111 and 11 and, and 2 to 2 with our friends <clears throat> and looking out for a good day again today what an amazing nature well you know last night at pangong lake the night was breezy the wind was blowing while we were while we were in our tents uh, trying to sleep and of course we did get some good sleep <coughs> later on you can see the first glimpse of the sun rise on the top of the mountains with some uh, snow that's the glaciers and the dark clouds right across me that's the china side and in right across here is the, the east where the sun rises. It's a beautiful color dimension. Mountains all across, sun rising, and the crystal clear blue, uh, almost pure blue, sky blue, and some shades of dark blue and green. You can see right across this Pangong Lake, which is 143 kilometers, stretching all the way from India to China. China gets two thirds of this lake, while India gets one third. <coughs> you see the stand across. The first one is the one which we stayed in. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful.